Welcome to the seventh episode in Faceplay's RimWorld Alpha 9. I'm streaming this on Twitch, so you may hear me answering questions in chat, but I'll try to state the question first so you know what's going on. Uh, so let's go ahead and start up here. Uh, on the last episode, we were expanding our mining base, doing some research for um, stone cutting. We did get geothermal. Uh, we also were able to make some beer. Uh, there's our hops growing. We have some beer going on. People seem to like it a lot. Uh, we had some issues down here with a uh, one of the mined drones kind of landing, and it was spawning these guys. Uh, not that. The centipedes. Uh, they had a minigun. Uh, we also got attacked, uh, which the centipede and the attackers actually fought each other and basically cleared themselves for me. Uh, we got an AI uh, Persona Core. I'm really not sure what this is for. I've never used one before. It, is, it has a very high market value, so I'm going to just hold on to it unless I absolutely need to sell it. Um, so what we're going to do this episode is we're going to get our geothermal uh, generator going. Uh, we're going to try to make this into our cooking area, our sort of our crafting area, uh, which we've already started with the research table, sculptor's table, brewery. We're going to move our kitchen and stuff in here. We're going to expand this for cold storage. Uh, and we're going to get some more bedrooms going on. Uh, they're starting to get our defenses up, our second line of defense. I'm going to use these primarily for prisoners and things like that, and all the living quarters and anything important is going to be in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rolling. Uh, so what I want to do here is we need to get this as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Great ships. Yep, yep, yep. How are we on medicine? We have 21, so I think that's good enough for now. I always like to keep at least 18 plus, uh, just in case. That should allow us at least a few people. If they do get injured, uh, we can kill them up pretty well. There's our storage up inside. And turn our temperature down. I like to go about 30 degrees. Stone cutting is finished, which is nice. We can get pneumatic picks. It seems with Alpha 9, the research has been upped. I know a lot of these in the last uh, build were much lower. I think this was somewhere around 400. I could be wrong, but I know that these are higher. These are higher than they were. Uh, hospital bed was lower. This may have been the same, maybe just maybe a thousand. Um, but some things were raised, I do believe. I probably should get cremation as well. Uh, but I want to get um, the pneumatic picks and then the hydroponics. Um, it's September, and I think they lowered the days to 12. Yes, 12 days. So I may actually go ahead and get hydroponics first, uh, because winter is coming. Dun, dun, dun. People are napping. State engineer. Let's go ahead and set up some more... Uh, mining orders to expand our cold storage area. Let's see what do we got going on. A new trade ship. We don't really need anything. So this is six by six. We can afford to make this slightly bigger. Um, we don't want to chance a roof collapse uh, because that would be catastrophic. What we'll do is we'll make another room off to the side. Dwarf has gotten sick from malaria. Malaria? How did he catch malaria? Malaria, whole body. Oh, he's already got a, a decent immunity in progress. Uh, so we need to set up a medical bed. Uh, we'll go ahead and change this. We're going to set people to these beds very soon. Um, as soon as we get doors and things going on. So let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, we're going to switch this bed to medical. Tell the dwarf man to prioritize receiving treatment or actually rest and heal. Uh, that way he should stay in bed. If does, Is anyone going to heal him? 
Um, I'm not sure if he actually needs medicine. I've never had malaria before. Check on Nerd Face. We've had a lot of problems with Nerd Face lately. And I think it's primarily due to Harris. Uh, Harris is abrasive. Uh, but it's also, part of her problem is because she prioritizes tasks sometimes over eating and sleeping. Which is <laughs> kind of silly. It took her so long to kill a turtle uh, in one of the other episodes that she actually had a mental breakdown. I guess she was very upset about how often she missed for like, almost two days, I would say. Or a day and a half, something like that. So let's check the temperature. Yeah, that's still classified as outdoors because of this. We're going to put a door on there. We don't want to lock them in yet. We want to expand this first uh, because we don't want them to try to mine in, in sub-zero uh, temperatures or sub-freezing temperatures. So we've got this almost finished. We need to knock this out and then we'll be able to build a geothermal. Uh, trade ships, more bulk goods. Uh, we're good on a lot of things, really. Uh, what we should do, though, is we have some... Uh, we need to set up a growing order or growing zone or cotton. Let's go ahead and get that going on. Uh, cotton is fine uh, because we want to start making parkas uh, because they do take a long time to... Uh-oh. Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscapes. Uh, the landscape. Your colonists are okay, but it seems many of the boom rats in the area have been driven insane. That's probably the worst thing we can get to go insane. Because they explode when they die. Let's go ahead and turn on our... Um, go ahead and turn on our guns, because they're going to pour in here. It may actually be a bit of a problem. Uh, because... Like I said, they ex oh, there's one inside the base. Um, and Butterfly is going to get shot, I do believe. Somehow she's been missed by these turrets. Uh, let's draft her and try to move her away. Wow, she somehow survived that. She didn't get shot by any of these turrets. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Turn these on. We've got some more boom rats coming. It doesn't seem to be there's any more in the base. So let's go ahead and uh, let's check out, make sure no one is outside. No one seems to be outside. I need to put some... See, I need to get some sandbags for this area to slow down anything that comes in. Um, let's go ahead and queue those orders up. Because we want things to come in through here as slowly as possible. I'm going to go ahead and put a few this way. We have plenty of steel for that. Okay, so I'm going to have to draft and move them. Because it seems like people are going to try to come that direction. We've got a fire. Okay, so no one is injured as of yet. Uh, are there any more boom rats? Okay, so let's undraft so they can put these fires out. Quickly, quickly! Before everything burns down. Alright, it seems like that, that's the end of the boom rat problem. So, rad needs medical treatment. Rest and heal. He still has malaria, and he should have been treated earlier. Let's have someone do that. Let's check our stats for doctoring. Uh, Harris, which is kind of funny because Harris is abrasive. Treat Rad, please. Cluster of cargo pods. What do we got? Uh, we have tortoise meat. Yeah, okay. So we do have stone working now. We only have 16 blocks, however, so that's not going to do us a lot of good. 
Uh, let's go ahead and set up a stonecutter's table here in our crafting room. And while we're in here, let's do a butcher's table. And let's get a cook stove. Can we fit it right here? Yes, we can, because we want it to be as close to this as possible. Actually, what I'll do is I'm going to switch the stonecutter's table with the cook stove. To save just a little bit of time. Um, it doesn't really... I guess let's do this so there's a, a larger gap there. So there's our butcher table, and we're going to put up a stonecutter's table. It leaves us room for one more here. We already have a sculptor's table, which we're not really messing with at the moment. We have other things we need to prioritize. Um, we've got a fire. Perfect. Perfect. At least it didn't hit our solar generator. So, has Rad been treated yet? Uh, he's drank some alcohol. He's treating himself. I guess he's been treated. He... I can't get him to stay in bed, it seems. There's Harris. With the uh, unpleasant conversation business. So, let's see. What's our power? We have very little power. Uh, it's because all of our guns are on. Let's go ahead and turn these off. And we have some guns in here that we just built. Let's turn these off. If we can get this mined out, our power situation should be much better. Yet again, a fire. Uh, but it is raining, so that's not a big deal. And we have another fire. Uh, this boom rat died. Uh, but like I said, it's raining. I'm actually going to draft them and have them finish this boom rat. So it doesn't explode at a terrible time. Uh, maybe I'm not going to have them finish because they apparently can't hit that there. This thing is about to die though. I don't want anybody to walk by and it explode, which is probably what's going to happen. This looks like they're getting some cotton growing, which is good. We need to also add a... Um, where is it at? Not a smithing bench. Maybe we have to research tailoring? I didn't think we did. Hmm. Perhaps we have to research something else to unlock it? Oh no, tailoring. Here it is. I'm just blind, apparently. We're gonna add our bench in there as well. Uh, this is almost finished. We can add a door. Uh, as soon as these things are finished up, we can uh, start transferring our food and things inside. Looks like uh, Butterfly is getting all this tortoise meat, which is fantastic. Nerd Face is finishing off our sandbags, and there's the boom rat exploding. Those things are quite troublesome. We need someone to finish this off. I'm going to wait for someone to wake up. A group of visitors. And I would like... Oh, I see what the problem is. There's a, a building here. Let's go ahead and claim. Or actually, we've seen this automatically. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff so we can actually mine that out. I didn't notice that there was a wall. Okay, so there's only a room we don't really care about. So at least we don't have to mine this section. We just have to deconstruct these walls. Let's uh, see if we can get one in yet. We can. Excellent. We're going to mine this section out just so we have walking room and we're going to add some starship janitor big deal we're going to go ahead and add this to the 
Um, power grid. Visitors are leaving, that's fine. What we may do is expand this room uh, into here, but we'll have to destroy something, which is fine. Uh, probably this research table, uh, because we're about to finish the hydroponics. Let's go ahead and set up a zone for that. Uh, research finished hydroponics, yes, yes. Alright, so we will we'll add a small door here, and we'll go... Let me actually have a, a two... Uh, a gap here of two. Uh, because I do believe that, spot, that fire spreads in twos. Let's go ahead and do this. going to be a very awkward way, but we can put uh, a crafting table here and here. Um, I'm going to add one block. That's three, three, one. Do we have much more room here to craft? We can probably put this research table here. Uh, yeah, we can. So that'll be a perfect spot for that. Let's go ahead and deconstruct the research table. Uh, we need to get some large rooms for uh, our hydroponics uh, because we're getting close. It's September 7th. So we have a local deer has gone made. Where are you, crazy deer? Um, Julie? Where's Julie? Who is Julie? I don't even know Julie. I guess it was a bug. Um, let's go ahead and turn some of these on real quick. Uh, prioritize toggling power, just so they can take care of this deer. Actually, she just turned one on. What else? Yeah, that's another one. Right in a row. Do not get shot, please. Okay, so the deer is dead. Let's go ahead and finish it. We're going to have another one coming soon. Calling deer, good. Where's this other deer? Okay, it's going to come this way. But these are all on. Let's just move her away. Uh, let's move her this way. Deer's about to get obliterated if it gets through the... Yes, there we go. So let's... Go ahead and finish this deer. Okay, so someone is already going to pick it up. Go ahead and turn these back off, save some power. Looks like they're working on the uh, geothermal. And our crafting tables are getting finished, which is good. As soon as we get the stone cutters table finished, we're going to start pumping out some stone. We have 16 and 32. That'll be enough to wall this off. We don't really need an exit up here. Um, and I don't like this to be open. I don't want many entrances into my base because that makes it harder to defend. I would have to add turrets and things up here and I really don't want to waste the resources on that when I can just put a few layers of walls and it should be So, they're finishing off our tables. We need to get some power ran. Do that. Um, which, that should be connected to power. But I guess not. Go ahead and run one down. Don't think that needs power. It says that this was connected to power, but it's not really. I don't know why. Ah, yeah, geothermal's getting finished, or getting built. There we go. We have power yet? How do we not have power for this? Okay, work left. One. One, one work left. So, do we have power yet? No power? Power? Why do we not have power? What are we doing wrong here? Um, because of that, possibly. I bet it is. 
Let's go ahead and uh, knock this wall down, and we'll build a wall in place after we put a power line. Let's get a mining order for this, and we'll go ahead and get Victor to take care of that. So then let's get a power line. Power conduit, I'm sorry. What is nerd face finishing? So nerd face needs to prioritize working on this conduit. Uh, exotic goods. And just for giggles, let's see... People standing here. Uh, harvesting rice plant. Let's see what they would, if, if they'll purchase this. Um, well, they have a lot of statues. Sculptures, I'm sorry. Power armor is nice armor, uh, but I, I really can't afford that much. What do we have in here? Kidneys and power claws, prosthetic arms. They have an AI Persona Core for 6,700. Um, AI Persona Core, a hyper-advanced computer core that houses a superhumanoid artificial intelligence. It is isolated in its isolated state. The core is dormant. Installed in a proper support structure, however, it can become a mind of frightening power. I don't really know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. We may end up selling that because the amount of money we could probably get from this would be in an order of magnitude greater than what we have now. Um, so we just need to find someone that maybe wants to buy it. Uh, I don't think that we can sell ours to this one, or maybe we just can't sell it in general. Uh, but let's maybe hope we can. Because we could buy all kinds of things. New weapons, a lot of our uh, colonists have really bad weapons at the moment. Okay, so someone needs to finish this. So it looks like we've already started butchering. No. Group of pirates from the Coyotes of Persecution have dropped in right on top of you. That is terrible. Terrible. Because these are turned off. All of our guns are turned off at the moment. Which is the problem with these beacons. I'm going to try something after this. I'm going to try to put a building around the beacon to see if they do that anymore. So, since Butterfly is close, I'm going to have her toggle... Oh, Butterfly is in a terrible position here. We're going to move her down. Let's hope she doesn't get killed in the process. Move her down and around. So our guns are getting destroyed at the moment. One of them's active. Uh, but she's in a position now to perhaps turn these on. She's going to toggle power. This is going to get us some power going on. So we should be okay here. She, although she did get injured in the process. This guy's about to get blown all to hell. He's in shock. Uh, he is also in shock. Let's go ahead and, uh, who's in a poor mood? He's stressed out. Someone is not cooking. We should have... Hmm. Red is our primary, uh, cook, I think. He's still developing immunity. Cramped environment, sick, unpleasant conversation because of our doctor, hungry, and ate raw food. Hmm. This is kind of a bad situation we've gotten ourselves into due to these people dropping in. I'm probably just going to start leaving those on. Couldn't get Hound out of here. Um, so we have two that are injured. We need to get Rat out of bed. This seems to be sort of a problem. Nope, Rad, you need to get back in there quickly or you're going to get shot. Go ahead and fire at this guy. Where are other people? Harris is here. Harris can't fight. Um, 
where is this guy going? Okay, let's see what weapons we have. Minigun. And a sniper rifle. Let's wake up fella. Oh, we got him in the back. Why is... Is this one of the guys as well? It is. How unfortunate is this? Okay, so we're gonna move these fellows here. Rand can go and do his own thing. He's gonna consume beer. Uh, we can move Butterfly over here. I'm gonna start leaving some guns on in here too. Okay, so... There's Winston. Um... She needs to fight him in some fashion. And I don't think that he's close enough. Okay, so he's taking her down. This is actually not a good thing here, because Winston's about to light up this hallway with a minigun. Okay, so I think this guy's leaving. He's fleeing in panic. So, that's fine. Let's undraft draft and she needs to rest and heal rad is gonna cook again which is good is binging on alcohol this is not good uh, it looks like he is in a binge and I can't stop him from it so he's gonna drink until he passes out probably Rad's gonna walk around a little bit talk to himself it seems so we do have two people here that we need to take care of. Uh, what we're going to do is set this to medical. Let's check these guys out before we try to convert them. Psychically deaf, cold tolerant, iron willed. That's actually really good. Careful shooter, chemical fascination, psychically hypersensitive. He can't do anything except for shoot and fight. Well, he can make art. Uh, but he doesn't have a skill in art. I could technically get him and just have him pump out art all the time and just shoot pe shoot things and hunt. Uh, but he is so... I mean, he's psychically hypersensitive, which means he has a plus 80% kind of weakness to psychic things and our psychic uh, drawbacks. And he is prone to drinking a lot. So, that means we would lose control of him. And it's kind of like an art person, honestly. Except for the whole fighting part. Um, so we need to fix some walls here. Uh, we need to... I think we're just going to finish this guy. He's useless. Uh, Rand can't do anything with this, so we're going to capture Gazelle. And once we put Gazelle in the bed, we're going to... Check the prisoner status. We're going to get medicine. Try to recruit friendly chat. Uh, sewing area. We need someone to immediately respond to this. Okay, so nerd face is going to heal him. Uh, let's prioritize treating with hound. Looks like we've lost our power grid as well. Yep. Ev. And rebuild this. We need some guns here. Is he dead yet? Nope. So she's going to feed. Rad was our cook, so as soon as he's dead as well, that's still not finished. Let's have Victor start cooking. We definitely need someone to cook. Let me check his stats real quick. He's actually not bad at cooking. He could actually cook a better meal. Let's, uh, let's actually do that. Let's add a bill for fine meal, because we have multiple types of ingredients here. Uh, we'll do it, no, we won't, don't want to do it forever, but we want to do until we have X. I think 10 is enough. And let's suspend that order for simple meals. The victor should... Okay, so butterfly is abandoned. Uh, Hound treated gazelle. Let's hope she doesn't die. Oh, she is... She is very injured. Sh 
she may not make it. If she does and she's gimpy, if she like has a limp or is very slow, then we won't worry about her. So Daz is still here. Rad's still on a binge. Uh, we need to we need to end this guy. Butterfly fight? Yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, call this guy off. Okay, she's already going to do so. Uh, we need... Rad is doing his own thing, it looks like. Uh, we need to strip this guy. Get rid of this. We have a shotgun, a knife. We need to also strip this other dude. Parasites. Dorf is binging on alcohol once again. He's gonna get sick. Good strip. All this guy off. Um, where are they taking? Okay, we still have a few graves left. That's fine. So I think what we're going to do here is, uh, in this episode, uh, Rad is binging. He has been for a while. We had some attackers. Uh, what we're going to do next episode is... That is still unpowered for whatever reason. There's got to be a break somewhere. Okay, there's a break right there. We need to handle that. Um, what we're going to do next episode is finish this off, uh, convert this into cold storage, build some more bedrooms. We need to build a larger area for storage so we can pull some of this in. I'm going to test something as well next episode. I'm going to just put a small building around this thing and see if it stops uh, things from going, uh, from dropping in on top of it. Uh, if not, uh, then I really, I think I'm just going to set one up outside. And I'm just going to put, like, the silver in there and things I want to sell. Because when they drop in in base, that's a huge issue for us. Um, you know, someone got injured. Uh, we had some things explode. Things like that. We had a door broken down, etc. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash face AAA. And be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video enjoyable. Uh, if you have any uh, comments, suggestions, uh, anything like that, go ahead and drop them in the comment box. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, anyway, see you next time.